What's up, America? What's up, people? Monday morning. Rise and shine. Early to get that dough. Early to get your week started, man. I got something that I've just noticed this weekend. Okay, man, I had a I have some time on my hands this weekend to where I could go and like uh look at a whole lot of shit, man. You know, I had more time on my hands this weekend, this particular weekend, than ever before. We had the Kentucky Derby here in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. I didn't really participate. I didn't participate, not really. I didn't do none of that shit. So I was able to, like, sit back and look at uh, my homeboys. And them sent me a lot of TikTok. Then I joined TikTok, so I was able to look at TikTok videos and... Um, you know, I was able to look at a whole lot of YouTube videos, too, man. And that's something that I I don't follow anybody. The only people that I follow on um, YouTube is uh, uh, Dr. Frazier, Boris Watkins, and I like to follow uh, Colin Noir uh, with the gun shit. And and this another and this another uh, guy that I like. I like to follow, too. Uh, Dr. Um, not George C. Frazier. I'm going to say George C. Frazier, Frazier again. But the doctor that has written uh, the books called Black Labor, White Wealth. Um, and he's also written uh, what three three other books uh, also. So those are, you know, those are pretty, pretty good books that I like. I like to read, man. I can't even think of his name right now, but it's not Frazier. But anyway, but, you know, we're sitting back checking the Internet out. I'm noticing stuff out of the males and females. Now, out of the males, I noticed that all the males, they kind of want to either make money, pursue money, or they trying to obtain money or obtain some kind of special uh, uh, leadership that they could be lacking and everything. So when you go to the internet, you're going to see males trying to get up on money. You're going to see males trying to make more money, trying to advance and everything, right? But 80% of the females that are online, guess what they're trying to do? They are trying to trap males, entrap males, or extract money from males. You know, the females are on here with skimpy clothing. All of them do that little one little split shit trying to show they ass and show they thighs and thighs and shit man so it's like god damn this shit need to be uploaded to the manosphere you dig what i'm saying because men we are out here trying to fucking provide and chicks is out here trying to have fun all the chicks goddamn dancing and and you know dancing and twirling around and doing megan the stallion so it's a whole different man look man it's almost like the women are like goddamn kids. And the men, the real men, they are like the motherfucking adults in a relationship. Not saying that they're in a relationship, but they're like the adults or they're like the father, man. Because they are trying to obtain shit and get to the next level and provide or be a better provider or be a leader or be a better leader. And here it is. The women, they are just trying to, hey, will you look at my exercise i'm doing glutes then after i do glutes i'm gonna start twerking then after i start twerking i'm gonna start doing the megan and stallion like it's two different goddamn situations that's going on man look at the internet and you just tell me pick any 25 30 females and i bet you they're going to be dancing shaking their ass or they're going to be trying to set that thirst trap for some motherfucking dudes and here it is dudes are on here Trying to better they self, trying to uplift they self, make more money, put they self in a better situation, put their family in a better situation, and women are doing total, the total opposite. They are just, hey man, you know, whoop de whoop. And I started thinking about that shit. I'm like, God damn. Shit, there is a trend here. There is a trend. If you look at the trend, I don't give a fuck if you go to Instagram. Look how the chicks on Instagram look. Look at the pictures that they take. 
Man, these chicks are so goddamn self-centered. Anytime you got a chick up there, I would rather see a chick trying to have fun, be funny, or, you know, do something funny than dancing, shaking that motherfucking ass. Uh, uh, I need some attention. Please, goddamn, look at me or some shit, man. All these chicks today, all these bitches today, man, they need goddamn attention, dog. And they're like, oh, you don't want to show me no attention. I go some somebody else, uh, you know, let me throw some shit up online or uh, some OnlyFans and shit, man. This shit is goddamn crazy. But go to Instagram. Pick you 30 chicks, 40 chicks. Look and see what they doing. Go to TikTok. Pick you 30, 40 chicks. See what they're doing. Go to motherfucking YouTube. Pick you 30, 40 chicks. See what they're doing, man. You know, like, the chicks could come on this motherfucker and get 2 million views because, you know, we got some guys that ain't ain't about their business. They ain't about their father business. They ain't about no business. You know what I'm saying? And guess what they gonna do? They gonna look at chicks all goddamn day or they gonna try to slide into their DMs all day. Man, let me give you a word of advice. If this chick has over... 500 people that's following her she has over 500 likes you wasting your time dog spend your energy spend your time and your effort doing something else that's going to pay off because fucking around with these bitches ain't gonna pay off until these hoes get old and everybody done fucking ran through them like goddamn one ply toilet paper and shit you know what i'm saying because most of these chicks i I guarantee you they ain't number come catches, man. You know, they just getting ran through by. Now, some of them could be a tease. They could be a tease because you got bitches that are tease and you got bitches that are please. So that shit go eat, go go both ways, man. You just it's kind of like being a comedian. You got to know your audience. You got to know what jokes to tell and you got to have the time. And whenever when able when you are able to tell those jokes and stuff, man, you know, so when the chance presents itself and the opportunity presents itself, then that's when you hit them with your good one liner, two liner, man. But look at the chicks, man. Look at the chicks. Chicks can have who they want to have when they're young, but when they get old and them options start to dwindle, whoa. <laughs> now they're like, who used to show me the most attention? And the most affection, let me try to boomerang back around and go get this guy. You know, and shit, man. So, that is, man, that is, look at the internet, man. The internet is starting to be built for, it should be called the feminine. Because this shit is just for females. And now you got the, the feminists trying to hop on the internet. Man, you got a whole bunch of shit that's going on right now. But pick you a Snapchat, pick you an Instagram. Pick you a TikTok. Pick you a YouTube. All of them pretty much going to be doing the same goddamn thing, man. Copycat. All of them going to be doing the same thing, man. But y'all have a good one, man. Later.